Hello and welcome back to the arena. This week's Friday Night Magic is all about historic. And as a new player, I'm here to tell you, taking one of these new player experience decks into the historic format is a little like taking a knife to a gunfight. And while I can't give you a historic collection over time, overnight, you just have to earn it over time, uh, I can at least give you some tips and tricks to at least put a second knife in your offhand uh, and level the playing field just a little bit. Uh, we've already talked about some upgrades and uh, at least one historic addition to our mono green deck. So today we're going to talk about the mono white option. Now I know we've talked about mono white before and just as a quick refresher it is intended to be a low to the ground uh, aggro deck with a lot of life link and life matters cards. Yeah I know there's a lot of low hanging fruit here in the current political climate uh, about life matters but uh, we're just going to sail right on past that. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about is uh, a permanent change that I made to my version of the deck since last we talked about it was putting in the Shadow Spear, excuse me, Shadow Spear over the boon. Uh, not only does it make the deck a lot lower to the ground as far as overall mana cost, um, but just seems to be a better fit for the deck overall. Now our black white life skills deck also leans very heavily into the life matters formatting. Uh, but having such an even split in the mana against the uh, much more robust and more consistent rare based mana bases for historic decks, leaning towards a, uh, a more monochromatic deck is going to give you a much more stable and consistent deck and hopefully allow you to steal some wins just off of that stability and speed. Uh, that having been said, I am still looking at some of the black cards that may be included in this deck uh, just to punch up its, uh, its X Factor a little bit and be able to hit your opponents with something that they're not expecting. But with that in mind, let's look at some historic options. Uh, Life Matters tends to be a mono-white or white-based uh, centric ability. You do occasionally see it splashed into some other colors, but it generally is about the white cards. So with that in mind, my suggestion is to pick up an uncommon Leon and Vanguard and sub that in for a berth. Uh, pick up a unbelievably good common in the Warden and uh, toss that in for the orator and uh, also to pick up a common moment of truth uh, for a coister. Uh, each of these are either just solid upgrades. Uh, in the case of the moment, uh, I think it gives you a nice combat trick that is going to catch some of these historic players off guard that just aren't used to seeing this deck. Uh, if you time it correctly, you can actually really mess up some combat mathematics, not only with the plus two plus two, but depending upon what creatures you have on the board, the life gain can also affect other creatures' stats and uh, really hopefully get your opponent to have made some bad blocks. Now when I factored in those new additions, it became apparent it still wasn't going to be quite enough to be competitive in a historic environment. So went ahead and added in the cream of the crop on the black cards, still giving you about a 65% white mix on this deck uh, and about a 35% black. Uh, in other words, we're just splashing black here for the most effective, most impactful cards. and. Uh, I really think that is going to be enough to up your potential win percentage in Historic and give you a potentially good showing here as opposed to a night full of frustration. I am usually not a big fan of the common dual lands, but uh, these that come into play and give you a single life gain actually fit really nicely into this deck thematically and uh, I think earn a spot here and really make it a little bit easier for you to play two colors uh, where it's going to be about mana availability and not necessarily about tempo. 
Um, but moving on to the black cards, our intervention here is a nice top shelf removal spell with a splash of life gain. Um, instant speed and the X factor on this allows it to be useful at any point in the game where we draw it, which is really nice since we only have the one copy to work with. Veto, of course, is going to be doing veto things and making your opponent pay for all of those times that you gain life by also losing life. But really, this deck is not all about the combo. The reality is Veto is in here for the occasional theft of a win here by just overpowering with the combo and catching them off guard, but most of the time it's just going to catch removal. On the other hand, our Patrician is going to give you much more of that same combo effect, uh, but at an uncommon is less likely to catch removal, and the fact that you have three copies available for the deck makes it less likely that they're going to have enough removal to keep up with this particular piece. Um, the fact that it is also a lifelink creature in and of itself just adds to the splendor. But moving on from here, we have the Boot Nipper. Um, this looks like a creature, but in reality, more often than not, it's going to be removal. If you are ahead and have good board position and on the beatdown, as we say, throw the life league counter on it and soldier on. Uh, if you have a deteriorating board position and maybe a little bit behind, throw death touch on it and dare your opponent to swing into it. Uh, then you get to decide what you remove with it and its death touch ability. All in all, I think this is going to be a solid option for you to uh, dive headfirst into Historic and hopefully not feel like uh, somebody who brought a butter knife in when uh, everyone else is holding machetes or, uh, well, other more dubious things. Uh, give the deck a shot. I think it's really worth an uncommon and two common wild cards to add a little depth to your collection and give you some historic presence. Uh, that's going to continue to grow over time. Uh, at this point, I'm not seeing a strong enough black base in our new player experience collection to really recommend any black wild card historic editions just yet, uh, but the season is young and we will continue to take a look at that as time goes on. That having been said, enjoy your Friday night magic, and until next time, I'll see you in the arena.